like there shouldn't be a there shouldn't be a reason for it, but this it is what it is. And, oh no. I know. Um, well, we'll definitely be praying you feel better. And you too, Rainy. I'm praying yeah. that you feel better. Goodness, thank you. It's bad, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started on our call. This is going to be our team call and our Work With Me Live call um, today. So I'm so thankful that y'all joined us. But just to start off, I wanted to just reiterate what is going on in Plexus this month because y'all there's a lot so <laughs> super Saturday is a Saturday so if you haven't um registered I would try to get registered because either for virtual probably might be too late for you for in person but um I would definitely register for super Saturday um I'm excited about it I'll be in Phoenix um I know Rainey's traveling I think Aaron's traveling and so um yeah, it's going to be really good. We also have the slim down and balance and get balance challenge. Um, that's going to be like a three month long challenge, but this month they're focusing on, um, or their big giveaway is going to be a Peloton. One month they're going to give away a tonal, one month they're going to give away a mirror, and then they're doing five $200 giveaways each month and possibly some swag thrown in there as well. This month, we also have uh, the weight loss combo, which is triplex and the reset combo. Um, if you if you purchase that together, you get a free balance. Now, if you do the triplex reset and balance, you get a free bag of slim. And so that allows your new VIPs to start with two slims a day, which I think they would see incredible results. Um, for the free balance, there is no... Um, code and I think Rainy or Aaron is it free slim or Terry or I think it's the code is free slim when they do the reset the triplex and the balance to get that okay um let's see they're continuing with their re weekly reset challenges um our convention contest has started and that's exciting we're not just doing levels ones and twos like we have for leaders retreat in the past right now we're doing they're taking us all the way through level fours and you can find that information in the plexus go app on how you can earn all those credits um or you can go to your website and our new virtual back office is up. If you want to click in the right hand corner, it'll say go to new virtual office. And so you can you can look at everything there as well. Um, let's see. Oh, we have the the choose the way you earn, right? Like choose your prize and it's earn an extra four hundred dollars when you help six new VIPs get started in January. Or you can earn and or I guess you can earn an extra $200 when you retain six new VIPs who started either in November or December. And then you can also earn an extra $400 when you develop three new level one silvers through, I think I have gold, but on I just read something that it said senior gold. Um, so that's an extra thousand dollars that you can earn. And that is on top of any fast start and any other, um, any other ways that Plexus pays us. So very, very good and easy ways to earn an extra thousand dollars this month. Um, our product of the month is greens. And then we also have that add one, get the 250 perks and the add three and get that Plexus tumbler. Um, so lots of things going on, lots of exciting things. We also have our real people, real stories that started back up. We also have our Sunday night earn $300 calls, lots of things going on. So it's super exciting right now. But today, I just wanted to go over that with you, but today we're going to talk about dream boards and we're going to make our dream boards. And if you don't have your stuff, that's okay. All you need is your computer and you can find some things, print it off, whatever you need to do. Um, if you're like my younger daughter, when we made our dream boards at home, she didn't want to print anything out. She wanted to make it on her computer screen. And that's totally fine too. What I would suggest with that is either A, make it your screensaver or B, print that off later on and put it somewhere so that you can see it. So, okay. Somewhere along the way, y'all, when we were little, remember you used to think, you used to pretend like, or say, when I'm older, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to live in this 
whatever mansion, or I'm going to marry this, or I'm going to be this when I get older. But somewhere along the way, we stopped dreaming. We stopped dreaming. Either somebody told us that we couldn't do those things, or maybe, um, you know, you failed at something. And so you've told yourself you couldn't do those things. And so what I want to tell you today is a lot of times we start feeling unworthy as we get older or we just, we stop dreaming, right? But y'all, you are worthy. That is not, the truth is not that you're unworthy or that someone is better than you at something um, and that they deserve it and that you don't. That's not the truth. God has given you a purpose and all of our purposes are different, but he's also giving given you dreams for a purpose, right? And so I want you to start dreaming again today. Um, maybe along the way you forgot who you are because you're a busy mom or you're a wife or you are a caregiver to an elderly parent or whatever it is or, or another job consumes a lot of times, a lot of your time. Um, but we can't forget who we are, right? Because knowing who we are is so important and dreaming big is very important. Okay, so what I want you to do right now might seem a little cheesy, but I want you to close your eyes and I want you to just really take a minute, figure out who God says you are, right? I want you to think about who you are and I want you to think about your big dreams. I want you to truly just sit for a second and think about your big dreams. And we're going to go forward in just a minute. But I do want to take that time because if we just rush into it and we're not remembering who we are and we're not dreaming, then we're just going to put, we're not, we're going to make our dreams small instead of big. So I just want you to take a second. I'm going to be quiet for about two minutes. And I want you to just close your eyes and think about who you are and what those dreams are. Okay, if you're like me sitting in quiet, it's hard for me, y'all. It's really hard to sit in the quiet and I need to do more of that. So as we get started, and I, I wanna encourage you to really just take some time over the next week and really, if you are struggling with knowing your purpose or knowing who you truly are, I, I want to encourage you to just sit quietly. And if you're a believer, ask the Lord and he'll. I think he'll definitely show you. Okay. So what I want us to do now is I want you to think, and we're not going to take the like quiet time, but I want you to think about your health goals. What are your health goals for 2024? What are your business goals for 2024? And what are your personal goals? I, those are the three things that I kind of want us to focus on today. And of course, with the dream board, you can add a lot more to that. I did a dream board with my family. Um, so the other day. So 
a lot of those goals I had already put on there. So of course you can put those goals on, on that board as well. But um, I want you to think about your health goals, your business goals, and your personal goals for the year. And maybe you need to start jotting some stuff down, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, but I want you to think about a dream board. So a dream board doesn't mean it's a poof, it happens, right? Just because we put it on there, it doesn't mean it happens. But a dream board is a good way to set your goals. And instead of writing them down, you have a picture of them, right? So you're seeing it. So that is going to help hold you accountable when you see that goal. It, it, I would definitely put it somewhere that you could see it daily. And um, and I was looking at my dream board the other day and I was telling my future son-in-law, I was like, well, I don't feel like I accomplished a lot of this. But then when I really started looking at it, and I'll show you, this is the one from last year. I really did. I really accomplished more than I started or than I thought. So Mexico was on there. Pay off two cars. We only paid off one. Um, community groups we didn't get into like a brand new community group, but because of the nonprofit that we started, it's kind of like a community group has started. Um, read the Bible every day. I didn't make it every day, but I did read it more. Um, anyways, there's just some things on here. Serving, we started the nonprofit. Um, just different things that I was like, okay, I hit more than I thought than I thought I did. And so what I want us to do right now is, does anybody have any of their goals for this year that they want to share or that they want to talk about? Because in just a second, we're going to just start working on our dream boards. Um, and so is there anything, any goal that y'all want to share um, about your dream boards or anything that you've written down? Or did you do a dream board last year? Did you hit any of those goals? Anybody want to unmute? Oh, oh. So I'll tell you, when JD and I started doing this together, um, I guess three years ago, and as a couple, it's enlightening to do it with your spouse because like that, uh, <clears throat> the first year, you know, we put the RV on there and that ended up happening. We had no plans for that, but we ended up coming in just a little bit of money so we can make it happen. Well, then the next year, he just randomly says, I want to sell this house. We have this beautiful house in Raleigh. I want to buy some land and move to the country. And y'all, I honestly looked at him and I said, who are you? Because <laughs> not once in our marriage had he ever said he wanted to live in the country, that he wanted land. And so um, it really struck me that, oh, we got to talk more. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And I think it does. And so we went to... Um, we went on a day date last week and we definitely have gone through some of the things. And, you know, that first year, one of the things we did, we talked about paying off our credit cards. And so on our vision board, I drew these um, kind of funnel things or, you know, yeah. graphs. And every time we made a payment and we did the Dave Ramsey where you pay off the first one and then you, pay all that money to the second one. And it was so fulfilling for us at the end of each month to go in there and color in how much we had paid off that credit card. And today we have no credit card debt. That's wonderful. So I'm a firm believer in it. And like I said, we, um, we have started on ours and, but you've given me some ideas on some of the other things that we need to talk about because I, I mean, you should, I mean, I, it, it'll change your life if you do it. And like you said, put it where you could see it. We usually hang it in the closet where we have to look at it every single day. And then we remind ourselves, okay, do we really want to do this or do we really want to do that? Right. And I think that's a big thing is like we said, it's not going to be poof here. Here's everything you put on your dream board. But when you're looking at it every day, you're making that conscious choice of, I'm going to work my business today so that, or I'm going to do X, Y, and Z today so that I can hit that goal. Just like the, you know, the coloring off the debt and how, you know, so the next time you wanted to go shopping on or, or on this big trip or whatever it is, you're like, but look, look, yes, we have the money right now for it, but look, look what I could do, you know? And so it's, it's I a also, I, reminder. Yeah, I've always had a saying 
and I did this with my kids, success breeds success. So like if your kid succeeds at something and and you praise him and whatever, then they're going to try harder the next thing. And it's the same thing with your vision board. If you have it up there and you see that you achieve something, it gives you more energy, more self-confidence, more right. vision. And the vision part too, impossible things happen when you put it on there and and you pray about it and you look at it just like the RV. Y'all, we had no money for that. Right. And the weirdest thing happened was, and we put it on there and we put the biggest one on there. And my ex-husband that never paid his child support and was in jail, his brother called me and his mom had died and left him a little bit of money and they couldn't do anything because for one time, the attorney general put a stop to it all. And so we were able to come up with a little settlement, wasn't a tenth of what he owed me. But at the same time, then we took that money. We said, okay, this was child support money. How do we benefit the whole family? And we said, we're going to buy the RV and the whole family benefits. Right. That's really cool. And there's no way financially we could have done that. Right. But we put it on there anyway. And it, and it happened. Right. Right. And who knows what will come out of that with your family, like being able to take trips and, and, you know, I mean, who knows? Who knows what the Lord has planned for that? So real quick, before we get started too, I was just going to show you all this book, Dream Big by Bob Goff. Um, anybody on my team has seen this before. I think this is a great book um, for big dreams. So just, just wanted to throw that out there. But okay, let's get started. So re just unmute yourself. We can talk. We can do whatever. We're just hanging out. It'd be like a sitting in a living room making our vision boards together. So that's what I want to do right now. Um, and like I said, I, I made one for this year. Here's my 2024. This is for not business. So mine today is going to be more business um, related and health related. But anyways, go ahead and unmute yourself. Let's talk. Just talk freely. Just we're sitting around a living room together. I don't want to be the only one talking. And I just reminded y'all I don't like quiet. So, <laughs> so feel free to talk. So you, um, you just, did you go to Hobby Lobby and get like a blank? I did this canvas, yeah. um, and, and my, one of my daughters used a flat canvas. Like I said, one of them just made hers on the computer and printed it off. Um, I want it in my office. So I want it to look nice. I've seen people do paper, um, paper boards, and then they frame it. You know I mean? You can do anything, anything, whatever you're, I'm not super creative, um, but we started these a couple of years ago with, with our family. And um, so we just, I, and like today, I don't have Mod Podge. I usually use Mod Podge and paint, you know, go over it. Um, today, I'm just gluing it on and I'll Mod Podge it later. But so that's what I do and just get paper and go to town. So does anybody, while we get started, have anything they want to share Anyone else want to share about vision boards or dream boards or, or their goals for 2024? Maybe I should turn on music. Feel free to unmute people. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm excited to see them. So I'll share with y'all while we get started some of my goals. Um, <laughs> Rainy said she's in the middle of coughing. We understand. Um, so my goals for this year, I have diamonds. I want to be a four-star diamond. Um, create a stronger community within our team. That's one of my goals. Um, I also have a ruby on here and a diamond. Uh, diamond's my first position. I'm hoping, not hoping, I will be Ruby at least on my second position by the end of 2024. If I hit that four-star diamond, I'll get that cruise ship. I get to go on that chartered boat by Plexus, a Plexus diamond. And then just 
eating healthier, maybe meal prepping more. Um, I have a really bad habit of just walking into the pantry around two or three in the afternoon and just going crazy. I can do good all day. I'll get, they do great at night. It's that two to four window that just kills me. So I keep thinking if I have more fresh fruits and vegetables cut and prepped and that I can grab it, I'll do better. And then I thought that was a funny picture, but um, working out more. Let's and be in tone, I guess. I know that two to four window is hard. And then Kathy said, you know, God wants us to imagine dream. He imagined and created the earth because he imagined and it was so. You are so right, Kathy. I could not agree more. Um, I think it's important for us to dream. So I just got scrapbooking paper and we we bought some um, foiled paper and it was really hard to put on our boards. We struggled with that. Hey, don't make me start calling on y'all about goals. Any, anyone else want to share a goal that they have for 2024? Goals, goals, goals are important. And do you know that you'll, not that just because you write them down will you achieve them, but it does hold you accountable more when you write them down and your likelihood of achieving them will be greater. So um, I really tried to focus not on my personal, but on my, my physical and then my business. Because like I said, I had done, well, I will say health over here. I said self-care on this one. And I put just eating healthier, working out. Um, I have our nonprofit on here. We are looking for a house for our nonprofit. We're really hoping somebody just donates one, like the city or something. That's that's our our dream and our goal. Um, on that one, Carrie, what's one of your dreams and goals for this year? Me? Yeah. Um. Uh, I had put Senior Ruby. Mm hmm. But that's stupid. Why is that stupid? That's underestimating myself. Oh, um, okay. So I'm changing that. Uh, this is one of the things that I have on here that we we don't have a will. Mm. And so that's something that I'm putting on here that we just have to do. I mean, we just haven't sat down and done it. That's, I mean, right. you know, and after when you start losing your parents is when you start realizing, Oh, you better, you better write that out. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Well, and if you need a company, my parents actually did that for us a few years ago. Um, while they were getting all their stuff done, they, they did it for their kids too, which was such a blessing because I didn't want to think about it or do it, but the Blum firm, B L U M in Dallas, they were really good. Okay. Yeah, we um also are one half one. Go ahead. Get our funeral stuff paid for. Because um when my mom passed away, um I met with my siblings and we go to the funeral home and we didn't owe a dime. And it was such a relief to know that everything was taken care of. Right. Absolutely. I mean you're already grieving, right? Your heart is shattered. And even right. if, even as a believer, you can still grieve in and, and hope at the same time. Right. But to, to have that extra expense would be hard. Yeah. You know? 
I mean, we were moving and everything else. We just were like, okay, let's go buy some flowers. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just right. a, not to have to. So that's uh, that's on our list. Those kind, of, those two things, and then um, you know, I put leadership because I feel like when I did um, Plexus before, and y'all know I left for a little bit stupidly. Um, well, I say stupidly. Well, what a learning lesson. Well, I was going to say, you know, that sometimes you have to yeah, step away to realize what you have or had was really good, right? Like, I don't think that's stupid at all. Yeah, but my leadership prior to that was a lot better. And so um, I'm actually doing a training Oh, it starts in three minutes, but, um, but I, I have leadership as one of my deals, but I want it for my husband too, because he and his dad and brother own a business and I, he's very, 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 very good at sales, mm -hmm. but leadership is something that, and he's good at leadership, but at the same time, um, he can get better and mm -hmm. his you know, his dad is 89 or whatever. And so he's going to be out of the business soon. And it'll be up to JD. And so I want both of us to work on leadership. Absolutely. And I think even the very best leaders, I mean, John Maxwell will tell you, he's still studying and becoming better, right? Like, I think that's fabulous. I love that. And thank you for jumping on here, even though you have another meeting after this. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm doing a um, thing. It's a three-day thing, Ignite 4.0. And it's, I think today is all about social media. And then tomorrow is about replication. And then I don't know what the next one is. Um, well, you'll have to share with us. Yeah. yeah. So I'm um, definitely working on that. And i um, hoping I have a amazing 2024. You will have an amazing 2024. I have no doubt. So thank you for sharing your goals with us and have fun on your call. Thanks. And um, I'll show you on my uh, vision board when I get it all done. Yes. I want to see it. I want to see it. Thanks. Y'all have a great week. And Rainy, I hope you feel better. Stay away from all these sick people. Right. I oh, know it's sad. Okay. Thanks y'all. See you next Bye. time. Okay, so Rainy said, I'm doing Bible recap. So my goal is to stay consistent. I would like to reach Emerald on my second position and gain my lost stars back. I'm committed to face yoga even before Melissa Eichenhorst started talking about it. The most immediate goal is to just feel better. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. I'm glad you're going to the doctor. I'm so worried about you, Rainy. This has been lingering. It's no fun at all. Leanne, do you have a goal that you want to share with us for 2024? I don't want to put you on the spot, but oh, somebody's in there. She can't talk. What about Diane? Diane, do you have anything that you'd like to share? Uh, sure. Um, so I work full time uh -huh. um, in addition to doing Plexus. Um, and my husband and I have started a couple of other smaller businesses as well. And so my goal, um, and I'm not sure if it'll be in 2024, but my ultimate goal is to no longer work full time at my church job, but to do these, to grow these other businesses that we have, um, including Plexus and then the laser business and a virtual assistant business. So that's my big dream. That's amazing. I love, love, love hearing people's dreams and goals. And so what would that allow you to do if you could stop your full-time job at the church? What would that allow, what would that do for you? Um, I, I think the biggest thing for me would be some more time freedom. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have a pretty hefty commute. Well, you know, it's like 30 miles, one way to work. Um, and so just, you know, that would give me, that would give me an hour each day if I didn't have that commute. Right. Um, and that's just, in my mind, it's just wasted time. Um, and I've done it for 14 years and I'm, you know, so I'm looking forward to just 
slowing down, doing some things that give me a little bit more energy and creativity. Um, so yeah, and spend time with family, the grandkids, and plus I've got elderly parents now and just all the things that, that freeing up my time would, could go other places. That's wonderful. That time freedom, you know, I, I tell my, my older two daughters all the time, like money, yes, will bring you comfort. And obviously our joy is only found in the Lord. So I'm not saying that, but time freedom is just as important as financial freedom, right? Like having some time is really important. I think it's, I think it's just as important as having those financial resources. Um, just in the sense of if you're looking at finances and time, I think they go hand in hand. I think they, I don't know that one outweighs the other. <laughs> to uh -huh. be uh -huh. So well, yeah, I can no, I celebrate agree. you when that happens. <laughs> That's amazing that y'all have several other businesses. So would that allow your husband to, or he may already do this. Does he work? An, an eight to five job or did, is he working from home or? Um, yes to both. He does have an eight to five job, um, but he's got the flexibility and he's home. He probably only goes to the office one day a week um, as it is. So it's just really nice. Um, it's nice. Yeah. Very nice. So, yeah. That's exciting. Thanks. Thanks for asking. How are y'all's, anybody else making a board or am I making a board by myself? Anybody else having fun with their boards? So I bought a couple of books um, and I've been look as, as you've been talking, I've been looking through pictures and and uh, just cutting a few pictures out that I plan to use um, on my board. So that's so fun. I know my husband had, he pulled out some magazines the other day and I was like, ooh. And then my daughter started making hers on the computer. I'm like, wait, I can use these pictures too. But it, you do get caught up. I mean, it took me like three hours the other day. So I wanted to be prepared today because <laughs> the last one took me forever. Because, you know, you do, you start thinking you, and when you're really, truly dreaming and thinking about what you want for the next year, it's a big task. It's not something easy just to slop. I mean, you can slop something down, but it's kind of fun to start dreaming and go, Ooh, I want this. This is what my dream is. You know, it's exciting. A fresh start new year. Not that you can't have a fresh start every day of the year, but it's a lot of fun. And so I won't make y'all stay on this whole time, but I am going to finish so y'all can see the dream board and see how it turned out. Oh, Rainy, you're so sweet. You're the most encouraging person I know. So has everyone had, I know Rainy has not had the best start to 2024 just in in not feeling well but how has y'all's 2024 been ours has been crazy busy already and i'm like oh it's i don't think we have a free weekend until march and so that's kind of crazy that's <laughs> and then after that um we don't have a free, we have one weekend in march and then we have um, the second weekend in May. Those are our first. <laughs> and those may be filled because our third daughter is graduating from high school on the 24th of May. So there will be a graduation party somewhere in there. Um, so really until after convention, we don't stop because we have a big family trip and everything else. Um, Macy's wedding is, that's our second oldest. She's getting married. April 19th. And so that's fun and exciting. But our youngest plays volleyball. That takes up a lot of time. And then 
just getting ready um, or getting things ready for the wedding, showers, different things, and then plexus stuff, lots of travel. So not that these things are bad. They're just, there's a lot. So, and Sadie graduates this year. This is an exciting year. Big changes. Okay, I'm almost done. And then I'll show y'all. I'm putting back my payoff two cars on here. That is my goal. We did pay off one car this year, but I need two more gone. We have too many cars which we have a bunch of people in the family. So it's not, <laughs> it's not um, that we just collect cars or anything, but. Almost done. And it's going to drive me crazy because all the corners are sticking up because I don't have my Mod Podge. Okay. Three more things to stick down. And here's what I want y'all to do is when you have your board complete, I want to see it, message it to me. Or if you're in the um, Simplified Success page, I want to see it, share it there. Um, we want to see it. And then we are going to have a work with me live, a true work with me live on Thursday. It's at 10.30 a.m. And so I hope to see y'all there and we will be doing things to help us reach these goals. So that is what our plan is. Oh, and I forgot words for a couple, but that's okay. So as of now, this is what it looks like. Like I said, I forgot my words for the cruise and Diamond Ruby, but I'll put that on there. I'll finish it up. Um, I do wanna see yours. I think it's important that we share them because we can hold each other accountable in a fun way, not in a, not in a mean way by any means, but in a fun way. So remember, put your dream board um, where you can see it. Let that be a visual guide every day to the work that you do, because in order to reach your goals, you need to have a dream and a vision, and then to write those goals down, whatever that looks like, either written or pictures, and then work to towards those goals each and every day. So when you don't want to, when you feel like, oh, I just don't want to work today, look at your dream board and remind yourself why you're doing those things. So we're off a little early, but I just, I thank you all for sticking with me while we do the dream board. And um, I will see you Thursday at 1030. Thank you for joining us. Bye guys.